Well, I, I know that it would not be intentional. You're not that kind of a person. That's just amazing. I just walked down to the target, and there it is. My arrow had pierced a butterfly. I'm sorry. Well, and here it is, the gold medal match for the men. The All-American final as Rio Wild and Braden Galantine will face off once again. This happened earlier this year in Antalya, and Rio Wild came out on top in that meeting. Yes, and in every meeting this year, it seems like Rio Wild has come out on top. So uh, anything other than a victory for Rio here will be considered an upset. Keep this in mind, though, as Rio Wild tries to keep his streak going and tries to win the gold medal that eluded him last year in Istanbul. He did drop a match in Nimes in France to Brayden Galantine this past winter. So Brayden Galantine has been there before. He's been able to defeat Rio Wild, but Absolutely. it is a tall order. It is a tall task. But that young man has the talent, the ability to do it. But keep in mind, Real Wild has been nothing short of sensational here over the last year and a half, two years. Well, even going back even deeper into his career. But also, when you have a winning streak, also with every little match, every another win, it just adds to the pressure because you know that everyone's waiting. And they're not waiting for another win. They're waiting for you to slip up. They're waiting for you. They think he can't win everything. And also with this match, if he wins this, he's made a clean sweep of the whole season. He's probably fully aware that no one has ever done that, and that's a pretty special thing. You know, it's, it's, that would be a huge achievement. But also, he's the type of guy who can deal with that pressure and just get on with the job in hand. This is the fourth match of the day for Rio Wild. Remember, he competed in the mixed team con mm -hmm. compound medal match as well. He starts off strong with the 10. So you're saying he's had time to set his sights? He has had time to set his sights as has Braden Gelantine, who is shooting his third match of the day. So game on, Garth. Both with the 10. Wife Sherry counting it down in the background, and Rio lets it fly with six on the clock. Fantastic grouping. As you heard him say in the cue box, 200 arrows a day. But I'm yeah. sure Braden Gelantine is doing the same back at College Station, Texas. Absolutely. He's a real hard worker. He's, he puts in the hours, he puts in the hard work, and he thinks that's why he gets the results, and I'm tempted to agree. It's not down to natural ability all the time. It's down to hard work, many hours, and that's the result you get. Three arrows nearly touching in the ten ring. Ten, ten, ten. 10 10 10 across the board for both of these archers so just what you would expect in a gold medal match like this between two archers like Braden Galantine and Rio Wild mm. going at it one more time the two Americans who are so familiar with each other and there's Dean Alberga making sure he captures all these golden moments you think he's got a few pitches of uh, Rio this year? Uh, just a few. Dino's got one of the greatest jobs on earth, I think, going around on the World Cup circuit, all these wonderful archery events, and capturing the great moments. Yeah, he's always there. So a steely-eyed look for Braden Gelantine, 25 years old, makes his home in the Lone Star State of Texas. College station, to be exact. Rio Weil, hailing from Pocatello, Idaho, where Father D, I'm sure watching. Brother Logan, down in the Salt Lake City area, staying up late to watch as well. People forget, but the first Wild, the archery world knew, was his Father D. I remember him back in the late 90s winning the World Indoor and World Outdoor Championship in the same year. And uh, yeah, now everyone these uh, sort of step back a bit and Rio just absolutely dominating everything. Four Such bullseyes for Rio yeah. Wild, four That's bullseyes right. for Braden Gelantine. Mm. Well, let's see if we can get to the Magic 10 or beyond. Yeah. He's on track. Of course, back in 2006, he shot a perfect score at the World Cup Finals. That was at the Mayapan Pyramids down in Mexico. It was, and back then we used to shoot a slightly yeah. different distance. We used to shoot 70 meters and a larger 122 centimeter face, just like the recurve archers will be doing tomorrow. 
So things were a little bit different back then, so it'd be great to, be to see him again in a final, again with his wife behind him. Shoot a perfect score. That would be incredibly special. The man who simply refuses to miss. But Braden Gelantine has been just as stout himself. So six tens for each of these archers to start off this gold medal match. And we have got a great one. We hope you're enjoying it on archery.tv. We'll be back tomorrow with the recurve finals, as well as the quarterfinals, the semifinals leading up to those medal yes. matches. The full schedule tomorrow. So right now, Sherry knows, just leave. Leave your husband alone. <laughs> He's doing fine. He is. If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. And nothing's broke for either of these archers right now. No. They're both dialed in, they are focused. They're teammates, but right now they are fierce competitors. Both of them want that gold medal. But they're both incredibly professional about it. They're both out there now to win the match and they'll do anything to win. Off the field, they get on great, they travel together, they train together. They're good sports. First shot of the third end. We're tied at 60 all. Who's going to drop a point first? Not a real wild. I've had a couple of people ask me that when, when Braden shoots, it's, it's almost like as soon as he's shot, he looks down. Because most athletes stay looking at the 10 till the arrow shoots, but he looks down. And they keep asking me why. I think it's because here, there's a monitor on the ground showing them the target face. So whereas normally he might look to see the arrow hit the target or he might look through a spotting scope, here, just in front of them on the floor, they have a TV screen and they can see the target. So he's just looking down to see where his arrow's gone. Which is different, but uh, it's definitely working. You can see the monitor there for Rio just in front of him. So battle of the Titans right now. And the battle continues. Nobody has missed that last after eight close. shots. Eight straight tens for Real Wild and Braden Gelantine. Yes, Making yes, nine. Yes. He wasn't happy with that one either, so uh, that's a fantastic result. Ah, uh, the streak ends for Braden Gelantine. It does. And so Real Wild. Just edges ahead, barely by one point now after three ends. Rio has been perfect on all nine shots, and Braden just a little bit to the right with his ninth shot, and as a result, falls behind by one point. However, not insurmountable, not over. Six more arrows left to be shot. There is, but that could be it. That it's possible that that it's possible. arrow is the shot of the final. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know how it's going to go. And again, looking at the trees, there is some movement up there. We do have wind, and that just means potentially even if these athletes do a great shot, they might get some wind driven. We just don't know. You know, we've been able to measure the heart rate today of the athletes. I would love to know the heart rate of Sherry Wilde right now, <laughs> as well as Braden's coach. As my experience of being shooting on the on the line and also being a coach, I think the coach has got the higher heart rate because oh. you're so helpless. Try to keep that poker face, but you can tell their hearts are beating fast. Back in the ten ring with Braden Gelantine. Same goes for Rio Wild. I thought in that last uh, segment of the cue box, it was an interesting comment. I think it was Torben who made the comment. Mm -hmm. uh, your competitor is not the man standing next to you. It's your brain. I, I don't know a single top archer who would argue with that. It's 100% true. So right now, Braden Gelantine probably is not focused on Rio Wild, nor is Rio Wild focused on Braden Gelantine. The focus is on that centering, okay. and there it is. The nine. So after? Same as before, though. Ten, 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 ten clean ten, tens. Tens. And then a wide one. So Braden Gelantine yeah, makes yeah, sure yeah. that he will be at least. At well, least. He might have a lead, but no worse, no worse than tied. Surely not two nines. 
So back and forth we go. 119 all. As Real Wild string of tens ends with that nine on his 11th shot of the match. Got back into the center ring with a 10 on that 12th shot. But Braden Gelantine able to string together three bullseyes in the fourth end. And as a result, we're heading down the home stretch here in Tokyo yeah. at Hibia Park. Great drama, great suspense. <laughs> as the two Americans fight for that gold medal. Look at the expression on Sherry Wilde's face in the background. Maybe we can end up with a one-hour shoot-off for gold. Wouldn't that, that be would, something? That would, I know it's not, as an athlete, it's just excruciating. But it, it, it's not what either <laughs> one of these guys wants, but... But everyone else here. Everybody right? else would love to see it. I think it'd be great. One arrow closer to the cross. But first of all, we need a tied score for this end. Crunch time. And I don't know two other men that could put up with the pressure as much yeah. as these two, but wow. A nine, a high nine for Rio Wild. I bet you Brayden didn't think he'd get that opportunity. The opportunity presents itself, but he can't take advantage. We're still tied. Now, I think this is a sign of what this long season and the pressure building to this event is doing to them. Five seconds. With three seconds to go, he let it go, and it's low. Tried to adjust. Wow. That's possibly the worst two shots he's done this whole season. And this time, Gillantine takes advantage of the opportunity and moves ahead by one point with yes. one arrow to go. Surely, Rios. Surely he's going to have a 10. He does. Of course he does. But now he's got to sit back and hope. And it's all in the hands of Braden Gelantine, 25 years old, going for the gold medal here at the World Cup Tender Finals. And he got it! Braden Gelantine has done it. Braden Gelantine with a 10 on his final shot. And he wins the gold medal in dramatic fashion, to say the very least. A tough moment for Rio Wild, no question about that. But well, what a moment for Braden Gelantine. <laughs> and you saw the reaction right there. He is fired up. That's one of the things I think a lot of fans love about this guy because he does show so much emotion once the match is over, sometimes even during the match. Yeah, sometimes. So the Rio's winning streak comes to an end at the last, last end of the last match at the last competition. Someone manages to beat him. Although, that being said, it should take nothing away from what he has done during the course no. of this year. It's been a remarkable summer for Braden Gellenty and also a great year for Rio Wild. But look at that emotion again. He's going to have to buy a new pair of sunglasses, I think. Maybe his father's going to need some new ones. Yep, I think Dad may. I think Dad's happy to lose those sunglasses. It's fantastic. I see so much passion. Well, you see the range of emotions right there in that shot. The look on the face of Real Wild. The bitter disappointment of seeing that match get away from him in the final end. Yeah, many athletes would be thrilled to come here. Like Danny, come here and get a silver medal. But when you've had so many golds this season, I guess it's just going to have that little bit of sour taste in the mouth. But it shouldn't, because he's had a fantastic year. If you'd have offered them this season at the start, he'd have took it. There's been so many golds, so many great results. What an amazing season it has been for Rio Wild. Started off with the victory in Shanghai, continued with the victory in Antalya, came to Ogden, Utah, got the victory there, and then here today competing in the fourth and final match he participated in today.